um, for this one. So in this case, now I want to be able to determine what uh, y is. All right. So what I need to do is when applying similarity, all right, the first thing I want to make sure I can do is say, all right, what is 3y minus 1? What is my side zv going to be proportional to? So anybody want to raise their hand and say what CV would be proportional to? Yes, Mario? AF. A to F. So remember, C to V should be the same as F to A, right? Just make sure you're saying them in the same order. I'm sorry? Well, it's not 12 because they're not congruent. But I can now write a ratio saying that 3y minus 1 compares to 12, right? When we did congruency, we would say they're equal to each other, right? But now, Zeth, because you're not supposed to have that in your ear, now we know they're not congruent, all right? So AJ, um, what is another ratio that we have? OK, so AJ, set up, OK? So let's look at exactly what we have. We know that this is proportional to this, all right? So what would YW be proportional to? Zach, what would YW be proportional to? You can take that, put it face down on your desk, by the way. Huh? No. No, that's not even my question. This side, YW, is proportional to what other side over on this one? OK, so let's check it. YW is proportional to DC. So I can write. So YW is 6, DC is 9. So I could say 6 over 9. Does everybody understand? Yes, Asia. Because I know what YW is, 6, right? I wouldn't want to pick this one because I don't even know what that length is, right? So you want to pick, when you're setting up a proportion and you have one missing value, you want to set it equal to another proportion that you know the value of, right, for the top and bottom. So since I know the value of both of these sides, it's now, able, now I'm able to solve. So now I will apply my cross multiplication. So I have 9 times 3y minus 1 equals 9 times 12, which would be, um, Angel, could you put that face down on your desk, please? No, no, no. Put it face down on your desk, please. Thank you very much. Um, so 9 times 12, so 9 times 10 would be 118. No, 108. All right, so now I can apply distributive property. 27y minus 9 equals 108. Add 9, add 9. 27y equals 117. Divide by 27, divide by 27. y equals, yes? How do you get 108? I don't know. I did 120 times 10. What am I doing? That's times 6. I don't know. I did 100, I did 12 times 9. Jeez. All right. Sorry about that. 12 times 6 is going to be 5 times 6 is 60, so it would be 72. Right? Thank you. So when I add 9, I get 81. Divide by 27, I should get 3. Yeah? Got it? Have any questions? Because you have to do this. Okay. So what I'd like to do now 